beautiful people and welcome back to our channel. My name is Frida Tate. In today's video, I want to bring you some outrageous four misconceptions that, you know, a lot of Africans have about interracial relationships, interracial marriages. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please be sure to subscribe and do turn on the post notification bell so that each time we upload a brand new video, you are notified. In today's video, we are talking about the misconceptions, especially in Africa, where I come from, that people have when you are in an interracial relationship or interracial marriage. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I am going to talk about the things that I, well, I've been married for 20 years and I can safely say I do have some friends like within my circles that are, so, that are in an interracial relationship or interracial marriage. So things that are, they have experienced, this is what I intend to talk about today. So let's start with one. One misconception that they have in Africa when you are married to someone foreign, especially, you know, someone white, right? Yeah. They always wonder as to how or where you met that person. They will not assume that perhaps you met a work you met at church or you met at the grocery store, they they just assume the worst. Yeah, well, like for, for lack of better word, they always assume that you met at the bar or you were as a hooker, you worked as a hooker or a sex worker and in your line of business, you met that person and you fell in love, right? They don't give exception that, you know, perhaps you were at work, perhaps you were, you know, at church or like they just assume that you purposefully went to the bar where a lot of white men hang out and you met your significant other. Like, what do you think, guys? If you've heard about stuff like that, please let me know in the comment section. I am going to go to number two. They always assume that that person has got money. The person that you married to the white guy has got money. They are rich and you basically just went for money because they are rich. They can buy you all these things, like the beautiful things, the designer perfumes, like jewelry and all that. So they don't assume that you probably married to that person because you fell in love with them. You love them. They loved you. You just went because you thought, you know, you figured they were rich and they'll take care of you. Again, let me know, guys, what you think. Because honestly speaking, not white, not all white men are rich. I know black people, black women that are married to like a white guy without money. And, you know, they are, they are doing it. They are running a family and yeah, it's not every time that you find this guy to be rich when you get married to a white person. Some of them are not. And it's unfortunate because they don't really care as to where this white person comes from, where whether they are coming from uh, a developing country. They just assume that, oh, perhaps where they come from, they are coming from, a, you know, they have a huge house and yeah, guys. We gotta stop that. Number three thing that I want to talk about, they automatically assume 
that you are married to this guy and they cook for you every day they are cooking for you breakfast in bed dinner lunch whatever when you are just the only thing that you are doing is painting nails and you know makeup and beautifying your hair and stuff like that they just assume that this is what's going on in your household now some of them don't cook i can testify to that because i don't I, like i said i have been married for 20 years so i have seen a lot of these couples where the husband has never touched a pot in their life this is a white person maybe when they were uh, single they they did cook for themselves but when they get married yes they are cooked for and the woman is so the woman is doing all the household chores including the cooking and another thing that i want to talk this is the fourth thing that i want to talk about is sort of related to the first point that i gave they just assume that because you are married to this person now it becomes your responsibility to take care of anybody that falls on hard time in the family financial problems and everything okay really yes we can help out but it's not entirely totally our responsibility to take care of the whole clan now because you're married to this white person you need to keep in mind that in the meantime like where well, yes we do have the extended family but at the same time we also have our own family that we have to hold down we have to keep down and we need to support the family so not every cent is going to come to the extended family because that's that's not right and i i must mention that the cultures are different from you know our african culture to them a family is like this the nuclear family it's only because they are married to an african that's when they learn that oh okay you can also help out the extended family but it's not every person that is going to be there to help out you know to help the extended family because our cultures are different so in case i forgot anything i forgot to mention any point in this video please feel free go ahead and let me know what you think and i can make another video with some of your points so whatever i've mentioned here is based on my experience and on the things that i've heard from my friends that they have gone through like in in africa this is not to say this is happening like everywhere so each place they have their own misconception yeah when it comes to interracial relationship as to why they you know when they look at interracial relationship what they think please go ahead and if i left out anything please feel free to go in the comment section and let me know what you think and what you have seen in your country and i'll make a video about it thank you so much for watching the video guys we'll see you in my next video like i said if you're not yet subscribed or following my facebook my youtube whatever please go ahead and do follow subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notification button so that each time i upload a brand new video you are notified take care guys we'll see you